Goblin needs... Ah! Uh. Reavy. Oh, 
Dare not weep. Zar Bumble D.
Quick Sue. Ah, still. Bazork. Asto. Ah. Dasto.
tonight. If I had a fight, I dance to the morning light. Sometimes it's easy to carry it away, listening to the thing that people say. But I know what you got your back, and everything you need, everything you have. Now, on top, so, begging you for mercy, do you? Bring me down as it can go.
Nice one. But seriously, get to work. I don't think this is what you'd wear in bed. Yeah, so, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with it is the fact that you're sleeping naked every night with the guy you're dating. Have you got a problem with that? I have. In fact, you're pregnant. And it's all his fault. You know, I wanted to date you. I was I'm your boss, after all. So, what are you asking me to do? I'm asking you to divorce your husband for me. No can do. I'm sorry. Well, I'm sorry to say that you're fired. Fired? You can't fire me over something as stupid as that. Watch me. You don't think I can fire you? But I can. I'm your boss. Well, was your boss. But now you're fired, so you're nobody's boss. Or colleague. So, I kindly ask you to take your things and leave. Okay. <laughs> okay then. Do as you're told and this will be done as soon as possible. I can't believe this. I can't believe that you wouldn't date me over your husband. My husband may be a horrible man, but he wouldn't have fired me like you did. That's what you think. You don't know him. He's actually the nice type of guy. Well, you don't know him like I do. He is the most coolest man ever. He cheats. I dated him once. That's why he's bisexual. He dated me and you at the same time. This is why I wanted to date you, but you refused. That's why you're fired. Do you get now what I'm trying to tell you? And why you're annoying? Why I'm what? Why you're annoying? Annoying? I don't think I'm annoying. Whoa, why would you think that about yourself? I don't know. What I do know is that I'm not annoying. And I'd appreciate it if you stopped being horrible with me, because I tell my husband, your husband doesn't care if you haven't noticed. By now, then you'll never notice. In time to come, when he hurts you, just like he did with me, and trust me, it's going to hurt more than you being fired from this job. So, you can either make the right decision now, I'll walk out of that door because you're still fired if you refuse. Um, I'm just gonna walk out the door? Fine, you're lost. But remember, I'm still open to your contribution if you choose me over him. I'll still be open to it. And remember that for the rest of your life. Because I won't see anyone else with you than myself. Well, you can leave now. Considering you will take me over your pesky husband of yours. But don't go crying to me if he hurts you. Because that's not my problem. He's heard enough girls in his time. In fact, there's this one girl that's now dead that he really hurt. And you'll be hurt too, if you don't watch out. I appreciate your help, but I don't need it. You don't need it. You're telling me you don't need my help? Well, I don't care. You will get what's coming for you tonight. Let's 
see what we can do together. Maybe I could take her out on a date if we don't need to do anything. Oh, looks like we're doing too bad. I was planning a date. We could easily just date out. Yeah, we date out. It's fine with me. As long as it's fine with my girl. My one and only. So, I heard that you cheat on people. That's not true. I don't cheat. Especially not on you. Hi, Nana. I'll go on a date with you. Sure. Let's hang out somewhere. I'd love to see what you have planned. Are we going anywhere special? There's a festival. Oh. No, <laughs> I don't want to go to the festival. Maybe we could check in into a hotel. Maybe that could be our day. But first, let's go there. And after that, we'll check in. Is that fine with you? Of course it's fine with me. Did you think I'd not like the idea? Well, yes, I thought you wouldn't like the idea, but it's a good thing you do. And, must I say, you look pretty hot in your outfit. Thanks. It is summer, after all, and you're wearing that big sweaty t-shirt in the summer? Don't pop it till you try it. <laughs> I know what you're like as a person. It's not the trust I want to get into. Okay then, when our son or daughter is born, we'll head out more often. Okay, I'd like to buy a muffin. How about you? What do you like to buy? I like to buy a brownie and a drink. Maybe not hot beverage. Herb teas? Maybe not teas. Hot beverages? No. Not hot beverages. Organic brews? Nope. Energy drinks. There. We have it. Are you going to get your food, dude, or not? Like a muffin! Give me my muffin! What's the point eating here if you're not going to eat with me? You're such a jerk. <sighs> All I want is a drink! Just get me some goddamn muffin now. All I want is a muffin. Get me a muffin now. Here you go, sir. Don't fall away. What would you like? Um, I'd like an energy drink. Down on the wine? No, this is an energy drink. 
So our new house is pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool. But you were betrayed by you. My ex that died, I killed him. You killed who? My ex, I killed her. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust it around you. I never kill you. You are not a sleeper with other men, so you're fine. Are you sure that I'm fine? Or did you want to say that I'm like a you know what? <laughs> no, you're not a you know what. You're just a nice sweet. And I'm glad that we met. Simple reasons, because you're beautiful, and I love you. Well, fine, I love you too. Come along, as you don't do that again, and you listen to my commands. Do what again? Kill someone. That's the lowest of the low. And I don't want to date someone that kills someone. So you better make it up to me. Oh, well, I'm going to make it up to you, alright? I'm going to take you to the most amazing place ever. Here. Are we here? Already? Are we? Yes, we are. You could have just answered me when I asked before. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can I just, um... Which one was it? <laughs> I'm gonna go check this in. You just go and enjoy yourself while I go do that. I hope it's fine with you. If I just go inside and check this in. Of course it's okay with me. You gotta be kidding, right? The loving in a way. just go in here and check ourselves in, I would be pretty happy. Now go do it! Now! Fine. Don't listen to me then, you sarcastic idiot. Maybe we ought to break up. Break up? Why? I don't like the way you're talking to me. with me then. See if I care. It's not like I care if we break up or date or whatever. I was just with you for your money. That was all it was. Just money. Money? Really? It was just money? Maybe you ought to look at yourself in the mirror and think twice about dating me for my money. Cause you have no idea how hard it was for me to get into this place. So the least you could do is appreciate what I'm doing. As a matter of fact, I'm actually not gonna book us in because you said that. You better go. I'm finding another guy actually love. Till then, I'll be away. And God will love you.
I'll be waiting more than you can say. Check in with for four nights. Just go check in or I'm breaking up with you. Your choice. Fine, I'll check us in. After then, check us in. Can we stay here? Please? Yes, you can. You're departing on Sunday. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Can we go and... How do I say this? See our resort? Problem. I go then. See if I care. Do I care? No. More importantly, why should I care? She's not my wife, or anything, is she? If she was, why would it even matter? Not like she loves me. She's just using me for my money, and I will not take that. Get a rock to get the old and divorced. And I swear I will do that. Kill her while I'm at it. And lose our child. If that's what she wants. So. I'm just gonna quickly come down here and have some food. I hope they have a good buffet. I'd like some nice food. Okay, I'm gonna dine. Considering she's already had a move with me about not checking in, she sure as hell needs to stop bossing me around. If she wants to keep me as her husband, I'm And I swear I will dump her if she can not. Because I don't take it one bit, not even a little bit. Till she actually bucks her ideas up, I suggest she goes away. Oh, now you need to be reset. What even is your name? Now, I swear I'll knock you out if you come back here and boss me around, you. And then after that, I will wait till you go to bed. You naughty little girl. All you do is just annoy me all the time and I don't appreciate your behavior. Nope, not at all. And that's why I'm asking you to leave me alone if you want your day to go quickly. You just have to call me and I will tell you what we're doing. And it seems like a nice date if you know what I mean by it. You always do. 
I always do, huh? How about you start paying attention to your girlfriend instead of just yourself and your stupid attitude? I've had enough of you already. And it's not even in hard past two yet. And you're already complaining. Like, get your act together. If you want to stay with me, you have to appreciate what I do to you and for our child. Child, you're pregnant? I can't believe I pregnated such a Do you have enough of you? And I already have. The fact that you dyed your hair red just makes me think of you as a witch. Witch. I am. But just stop with this ridiculous thing that you're doing. It's annoying the heck out of me, and I sure as hell don't want to talk to you ever again. I hope you understand that. That I don't deserve to be treated like this. And you need to stop right now. Right now. How about if I don't stop now? Then I'm walking straight out of this hotel and going somewhere else. Where else would you go? Home? No way, I'm kicking you out. You ain't going home. You kicked out. You can move your things out as soon as this vacation's over. And I swear I will kick you out. You get that from your school. And then I realized what such an idiot you were whenever you did that to yourself. If you know what I mean by that, then you would stay out of my life forever. <laughs> but I didn't stay out of your life forever. And so one thing, I'm not arguing with you. I just want us to enjoy our holiday. We can enjoy our holiday if you promise to stop using me for my money. Okay, I promise, and I mean it. Good. If you don't, then we're over it. If you do, we're not. So it's good that you do. Mean it, of course. <coughs> oh, are you really ill? Yep, extremely ill. I can't wait to be pregnant with this child. <laughs> I will support you and our child. To make sure we only have one. We only have one spare bedroom. And technically, I do not want twins or triplets even. Or quadruplets or whatever. So, if you would just stop with that and just get on with your life. I would appreciate it if you did. Is that guy dead or something? How can you possibly have drowned underneath that water? This is such a nice holiday. Sarcasm. holiday on things that don't matter. But I wanted to talk to the Grim Reaper. You can talk to him another time. As of now, you go to bed. Wow. Who made you my father? Nobody did. But if you're gonna continue with this act, I might cut you up. I thought you said that we were going to stop arguing and enjoy our lives. Well, 
You, you're the one that got out of bed just to see that man die. It's almost as if you love him and not me. He drowned. Get a light. I bet he didn't want to drown. He probably wanted to live longer. So he's old and then die. But he drowned. I bet he was quite old. Your bets are wrong. Because I think that he wasn't that old. And if he was, you should be interested in his needs. You don't know him. Just go back to bed already. <sighs> Fine. Well, I'll go back to bed. Jeez, you have to be annoying all the time. What if I'm not annoying? What does that even mean to you? Nothing, of course. Just like it doesn't mean anything whatsoever to you. That's why wherever. Did you get that? Or do I have to spell it out for you? Because clearly you have no knowledge of the outside world. Me? I have knowledge. Just as much as knowledge as you have when you're angry with me. And I'm sad right now over death that happened 16 hours ago. And all you do is just goddamn complain at me. And I've had enough of it. In fact, if you carry on, I'll break up with you. And I, I don't think I won't. I actually will. So I've had enough of this. One bit. And I will not allow you to boss me around like you're some little mother or father of me. You're not my parent. My mom or anything. You're just my wife. Now get your act together. Or find another woman. Every girl you date is the same. They always be like this with you. I'm not different from them. Because they all know what a little cheat you are. Plus, you've made me ill. Thanks a lot. Now when I'm pregnant, I have to live with being very ill. And it'll be all your fault. How's it even my fault that I'm that you are ill, rather? Maybe if you left me alone, I wouldn't be ill. So you just didn't want me to marry you? Or even call you my girlfriend? That's nice of you. I thought we actually had something. Turns out we didn't. Because all you care about is yourself. So pity. Um, well, we're having a child together. So we better stop this arguing because I bet our child, when it turns about our ages, would not want to hear us arguing. So that's why it's best if we stop now. For the sake of our child. Which could be coming any day now. So you better stop. You started it. So what if I started it or not? <laughs> You're just the person responsible for my life. That's all you do is you get girls pregnant and you dump them. I think that's the worst thing anyone could do to someone. Well, maybe you were meant for someone else then. Do you think that about me? Why don't you date another guy for their money? They'd be just like me. All guys are. Oh, wait. That's what you said about all girls. But not all girls are like you. I should have stayed gay. Because technically, the guy I dated was much more educated than you. You mean my boss? Well, no, not your boss, your ex-boss. Because if you've forgotten, you got fired. And he's my ex as well. Not ex-boss, just ex-boyfriend. Or husband. You'll be an ex too if you carry on with this. Alright, I get it. Fine, I'll stop this. Good. Because I'm going downstairs to order a drink from the pool bar. Be careful not to die. 
like that ever guided. I'm actually not gonna get a drink. I'm just gonna sit down on the lifeguard seat. But you're not a lifeguard, are you? I am a lifeguard. So seat yourself. I'm a lifeguard. So I actually have more morals than you. I can actually help these guys out. I'm a lifeguard. So it doesn't mean I can't help him out just now, does it? Haha, <laughs> you felt the elevator. You deserve that, you know? I'm surprised you didn't die from it. I'd be happy if you did. No, you wouldn't. Stop making false accusations. You don't worry about me. <sighs> well, fine. I guess I'll just be the lifeguard's wife. I'm just going to sit here and see if anyone else needs my help. Nobody needs my help right now. I'll just, um, well the bar isn't even open. What? I might have some people to help. In three days my job actually starts. So I could be well good at this job by the end of the week. <laughs> and it's just about my type, too. Like, how on earth could I get this good at this? You just tell me that. For example, if you ever find yourself in a tough situation, you should tell me. Uh, I'm just going go to a bar all by myself to get away from my crazy wife. Crazy? Who are you calling crazy? You get back here, so man. It's so man. Get it right. You get back here, so man. No way, Wendy. I'm not coming back for a while. Better get used to it. This bar is like my new home now. How about if it closes? Then where will you go? Is this place not even popular? Because if it isn't, why did I even bother coming here? Order some single servings of all them? No. I'm gonna order a drink. <laughs> One of the drinks I'd like to is a big mistake. Just like marrying my wife was a big mistake. I like to keep it that way. But unfortunately, there's no going back. But this lady is hot AF. I'm I'm gonna take you home and date you. Uh sir, I just wanna take your order. Sorry, sir. We're closed. Come back tomorrow when we're open and then you can get a drink or some food. But I just got here. No can do, sir. We're open till 3 a.m. 3 a.m. it is. So, I suggest you go. Find enough bar that's open. Oh, took me long enough to find that one. Eleven to three. Uh, um, two p.m. to two a.m. That one's closed, obviously. Um, uh, any others? Any other bars that I can take my mind off my crazy life? Oh, this is daycare. I might visit that for my son or daughter is born. I can take them there. If necessary, of course. I don't think there's any other bars that I could go to. There's a nightclub, 5pm to 4pm, but still not open. 2pm to 2am, that one's not open either. 
For one thing, I just want to go to a bar. This one is open to 11 to 3 a.m. Obviously closed. Two. So, no bar for me to go to whatsoever. How about if I just go visit the daycare, check out the place, because I might need to put my son or daughter there while me and my wife are at work. I don't think my wife has a job, in fact. No, she doesn't. But still, it could be useful. I'm gonna just hang out there till morning. Technically it is morning, but I mean when it's light outside, which it is. It's still quite dark at 3 a.m. in the morning. 3 a.m. in the morning, when my kind of dawning, body turn up on the phone. Kill them, kill them. Ah. <laughs> I don't know how I do it. <laughs> oh. Come on. <sighs> okay. Looks like I better head back to the resort that I'm staying in. As much as I don't want to, I have to head back to my castleria. Or however it's pronounced. You can even get married in this place. Wow. I think this one is ours. So I'm gonna just use the toilet in there. And my wife, as for her, she need to take a shower if she wants to look good. She have to take a shower, of course. I'm just finishing up my breakfast. I've had it almost in the food. But not quite all of it. It would make me really fat if I ate all the breakfast, all the dinner, all the lunch, and all of the brunch, dinner, and desserts. It would make me really fat. That's why I consider not doing that whatsoever. Yeah. Just listen to me. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm saying. So I suggest you listen. <laughs> it's got almost everything in this place. Like, I could go swimming and it would just be free. What? Why am I running to a bathroom? I need a shower, not a bath. Or, oh, I mean, oh. It's because I need a puke. I could be pregnant any day now. I'm just going to take a shower in here. What are you doing? I don't want to talk to you, remember? Maybe when it's 6 a.m. and my wife can go somewhere. Somewhere... Fine. We can go somewhere and make sure it's a nice place. You know what I'm like as a person. <laughs> 11 till 3. Clearly it's not going to be open, is it? Okay, are we related to them or something? Because who are they to me? Who are they to you? Nobody. Obviously. Obviously, they're nobody. It's too late to visit anyone. If you were wondering. <laughs> we could have easily bought that. But I don't want to buy that. How about if we go to the library together? The library? Of course, we can head there right now. It's always open. Open all hours. That's why I'm good if we go there. Did you get it? Did you? I don't think you did. So 
all you care about is yourself. Leisure Day is here. Wow, Leisure Day. I've never heard of such an amazing day. What is Leisure Day? Is it like a special day for leisure people? No, that's not what it is. Good try. Pool party? I don't think we have a pool, do we? No, we don't have a pool. But thanks for asking us. We don't have a pool. It'd be nice if we got to know each other. We already know each other, so stop trying to get to know me. I don't want to get to know you, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to get to know me. So stop. I'm just going to read something. Considering you're annoying the heck out of me, and I've had enough of you already. Are we on another date? I didn't want this to be a date. Do you actually want to buy a book? Cause we, we can do that. I would like to buy a book. I just kind of look first. To decide which book I want to buy. If that's fine with you. Of course it's fine with me. You take as much time as you need. We're open all day. All night. No evening. Evening comes first. Sorry. We're open all day. All afternoon, all evening, and all night. We missed out afternoon before, but you did it all that time. Well done. <laughs> but I say you're quite a good looking missus. Missus, exactly. I'm married. So go, please. Yeah, she's my wife. We may have some insecurities, but we're pretty much a good couple. So I suggest that you leave us alone, and let us get on with our business. Fine. I'll allow you two to enjoy yourselves. But while you're here with me in my bookstore, I suggest you listen to me. I don't want to listen to you, even if you are the last man alive. But anyway, can I buy a book? I love books. I don't think so, unless you have the money for all of the books. Um, I like a comic. You said you wanted a book. Yeah, a book. That's what I wanted, a book. Well, go ahead then. Buy a book. What book exactly are you looking for? I'm looking for a pregnancy book. Because I'm meant to be having a baby soon. In fact. So I'd like a pregnancy book so I can plan my pregnancy out the best way possible. We have pregnancy books. Which one would you like? Which one would I like? Oh, it depends what they're called. Well, we have Tozy Pruggers. Oh, I'll get that one. And we also have Baby and Coming Preparing with Vigilance. Are those the only two you have, or is there more? I think they're the only two that we have here, I'm sorry. But you can check to see if you find any more. But to me, we only have those two that you've already got on your shopping list. So... Is there any other books you'd like to buy that isn't about pregnancy? Or are you done? I'm done. Thank you. That'd be 500. Simoleons then. Here you go. Right. You can go and read your books. And enjoy your day. I'm sure you've had a rough day. 
I'm sure I have. Okay, where are my books? In your inventory. Okay, I'm gonna read them. Thank you. You're welcome. Go and sit down in the reading area and you can read them. I'm pretty sure that I don't want to read all of your books. It's <laughs> just the pregnancy ones. You're sitting next to me now? Why would I sit next to you? Little snowflake, here you go. Sitting the bell home. Read training in the rain. Read a special snowflake and read dancing with nerdies. You having a good time? I am, and I know that's the truth. Cause I'm definitely pregnant. Or will be pregnant, if you know what I mean. Prepare parents and good girls. And I'd appreciate it if you <coughs> stop interrupting me from my precious pregnant time. I'm gonna read this book. It looks like pregnancy would stop in the way. That would be most appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I don't want to write or have a date with anyone or a pool party. I just want to read my book. Is that okay with you? Or have you got a problem with that? Because I'm pretty sure I have got a problem. I have got a problem. Oh, what is that problem? If I may ask. I've got to give you that book. You need to read it. So I'm having a baby. I'm pregnant. You need to read it. Now. I don't think we can stay in this hotel much longer. If you're pregnant, then we need to sleep at home. So that the baby can have a safe birth. How long will it take for you to give birth? How long? It will take about three days. So, Thursday, right? Saturday! <laughs> okay, you can go and um, check out... Go ahead, check out. <laughs> Go and check out there. Is there a way we can check out? Maybe if we go up to our room. Do I think? Is this one here? So if we just click on the door, we should be able to start check out. how to check out. Is it the person that checked in that has to check out? 
If it is, then I'm gonna wait for my husband to get here before I can check out.